Great Britain's only gold medal at the Beijing Winter Olympics came as Team GB's women's curlers beat Japan 10-3 in Sunday's final. Skip Eve Muirhead has been speaking to our reporter Kyle Walker about her team's success. Let's hear what she's had to say. The final day, you won the first gold. Talk to me, has it sunk in yet? Thank you. Um, I don't think so, to be honest. It's been a whirlwind of the last 48 hours and um, we just landed back into the UK last night and um, we're in London right now. And I think it is starting to slowly sink in, but I don't think it will for a few weeks, to be honest. But it's been, um, yeah, it's been a fantastic um, couple of days and it's a, it's a lots of memories that I'll never, ever forget. Are you able to put it into words just yet how much this achievement means to you? This achievement really is for me like a, a dream come true from from a young age. It was something that I always wanted to do. And as a team, we have come so, so far. And if we look back at the last couple couple years, like we didn't even qualify to the World Championships to, to get a part of Beijing. And then we, we got a squad system put together. We then went on and topped the, the Olympic qualifier. And yeah, here we are now Olympic gold medalists. So I really couldn't write it, to be honest. Um, there's It's been a roller coaster, but... Yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, bear with me as I go through some of these things. It has got a happy ending, OK? <laughs> it was the fourth attempt for you. You've gone through heartbreaking near misses. You've had career-saving surgery on your hip as well. But you finally got that Olympic curling gold. Does it almost make it more special after what you've gone through? I think it does. I definitely do. Like, as you say, I've been through, I've been through a lot. And... Um, the pandemic was hard for me and um, there was times that that I kind of wanted to throw my shoes away and, and not get them back out again but I learned a lot about myself and um, I had fantastic support staff that helped me help me get through and um, thank you to National Lottery for for their funding to allow me be a full-time curler and, and get my dream but yeah as you say I think it is very sweet when when you kind of have a bit of a roller coaster and at the end of the tunnel there is always light and for us it's a gold medal and yeah it, it's it's such it's such a fantastic time. Do you think you've put to bed all of those demons in a way from those semi-finals in 2014 and 2018 now? Yes, I do. Like the 2018 um, bronze medal game was was very hard to take. Like when you have a shot as a skip to win and you miss, you take a lot of responsibility yourself. And, and I blamed myself for that coming forth. Um, and yeah, at that time, I didn't know whether I'd come back or not, but here I am. And um, to have lost two semifinals at the Winter Olympic Games and then finally win one and then go on to win the gold, I guess it, it makes all those, those semifinal losses a little sweeter.